Rodeo Weekend and Sundry, and the community's here in big numbers to support it. The cowboy riding that bucking bronc is somewhat symbolic of the Sundry Health Professional Attraction and Retention Committee. Spark, as they're also known, is always there when the going gets rough. So yeah, they usually wait. Spark came into being in 2011 when it was discovered that many of the community's nine physicians were leaving. Doctors Hal Irvin and Rob Warren formed a committee to tackle the problem. And then they invoked. Gerald Ingeveld was at that initial meeting. They said, um, in the next 12 months, seven of our nine doctors will be gone. And then they let it sit there for a while, so there was this uncomfortable silence where we went, holy smokes, what are we going to do? Well, we better get some doctors. RPAP became involved, providing guidance and introducing the new committee to established attraction and retention committees. RPAP was instrumental in, in our beginnings. Many other rural communities in Alberta were short of physicians. Competition was fierce. The most important thing is you ha we had to be sneaky. We would ask questions like uh, pre-tour questions. What do they like? What's their dietary needs? Um, if, do they have children? What are they interested in? And then we would sit down in a, in a little group and we'd say, aha! They like to do this, they like to do that. We had some dogs that we knew they had dogs. So we made sure that when they came for their tour, they got a good look at our trail system. Also really reach out to the spouse, make sure that they're feeling comfortable. It worked. Of the 69 physicians that were recruited from outside Alberta that year, 10% of them came to Sundry. Amazing results. We had attracted all these new physicians. They were excited to be here. When a new physician was hired, Spark worked with a local realtor to find them housing. And once they arrived... The fridge was full and, you know, some meals prepped, so all they had to do was take things out of the freezer and, and reheat, because those first few, few days can be pretty hectic when you're trying to get established. Dr. Mark Wiley was one of the physicians they recruited. They're very, very welcoming and good at orienting you to the resources in the community. The Attraction and Retention Committee that uh, was formed in 2011 did a remarkable job. Yeah, we're actually, we're doctored up. <laughs> in fact, since 2011, the number of physicians practicing here has expanded from 9 to 15. Many of the latest arrivals were first introduced to Sundry as part of their Rural Family Medicine Residency Program. The new docs liked what they saw. It was that kind of nice balance of, of a great place to practice medicine as well as a really nice place to raise a family that, that made it so appealing. You didn't need me to catch you. There's a pool we could swim at and there's so many things that the girls and I could do so that when Anthony was working, it felt like we were part of a community. Sundry is a really good place to raise a family and I don't think I realized that until I had my own family. And we have successfully recruited and now the doctors have kind of taken on that role and they're looking after and recruiting their own doctors, which is great. So with the first ride over, Spark is getting on another horse, attracting other healthcare professionals to Sundry. We need to attract the, the right nurses who are going to love this place like we do. Spark recently hosted an RPAP-sponsored Skills Weekend for nursing students from Red Deer College. New nurses coming to practice in Sundry get the same special treatment that new physicians do. Work-wise, Chantel is there to ease the transition. As an RN, I try to help them in the hospital, mentor them, uh, be a leader there for them. The committee continues to make retention of physicians a high priority. Here, Spark is hosting a pancake appreciation breakfast at the hospital. All sundry health professionals are invited. Dr. Carly Crew and her family are among the many who braved the rain. It's just one of many appreciation events Spark holds throughout the year. Thank you. We're invited every single year out to the committee to have a barbecue, physician appreciation. Um, we have massive boxes of baked goods and things on every family physician week and family physician day. Spark has gone out of their way to really try and let people know how much they're appreciated. Spark also celebrates nursing week by giving nurses gift hampers and hands out coffee cards to all staff at the hospital. In December, they extend their appreciation to pharmacies, EMS, the RCMP, and fire. One of the best things about this committee is we're never scared of a challenge. Such was the case in 2016, when the provincial government was contemplating the closure of the 15-bed long-term care wing at Sundry Hospital. If you can explain to someone that loves their community that pioneers of their community have to leave town because there isn't care for them. That just broke our hearts. The committee joined with health professionals and the community to lobby the province to change their mind. In the end, five long-term care beds were retained, four were converted to restorative care, and one to acute care. 
These are incredible people. These are folks that step up, think beyond what a problem might be, and think immediately to the opportunity that might present itself. There is one thing you should know about this committee. We love to give Gerald a hard time. He's stuck with a bunch of us women that whenever there's something to be done and none of us want to do it, it gets to be Gerald's job. <laughs> Female population totally abusing the, the male population. Gerald tells jokes to ease his pain. Well, that's a self-defense mechanism. When they're laughing, they can't punch as hard. That's, that's simple as that. A big tip of the hat to Sundry Health Professional Attraction and Retention Committee, recipients of the 2019 RPAP Rhapsody Community Award. Never worked with a community as passionate before in helping to assist with recruitment and retention of hospital staff. I mean, realistically, it's an unpaid group of individuals who are, out of the kindness of their hearts and, and their concern for their community, uh, are going out of their way to step up. You have been absolutely phenomenal, and I am thrilled that you are finally being recognized for the work that you've done. If you want to have success, you really have to care about your community. You truly have to have a passion. What an honor it is to, to serve this community.